What's up guys? So it's gonna be a different kind of video. We just put our last video of us at the drift event for our very first time in the RX-8 and we were doing uh, not so hot. I decided to get a uh, sim set up, sim wheel, a shifter and all that, just to see if, you know, practicing at home on a sim will actually help me in the real life, you know, real world kind of situations when it comes to drifting. Now, I'm gonna take this as doing everything I can with a racing sim setup, drifting with it of course, uh, mostly mainly using Car X Drift, really awesome game, but I want to see if, if I can get good on a racing sim, will it actually help me in real life situations when I'm going out to drift events in my RX-8. I'm new to both, I'm new to drifting and I'm new to sims, so obviously if this actually helps, maybe it'll help you too. So, I figured we'd do a quick little unboxing of this guy. We'll set it up and see how it works. I've never ever touched anything like this really before. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's start unboxing this guy. All right, so what this wheel is, is the Logitech G920 wheel and shifter. I know it's not the most expensive or best setup you can get, but you know, it's better than grabbing your $100 wheel setup you can go and get over like GameStop or Walmart. We can go ahead and start with the wheel, I guess. Actually, you know, we'll wait on the wheel. Let's go straight to the shifter. Everything that I read online, everyone said that the shifter kind of sucks. However, I have heard that there's also a lot of mods that you can do for both the wheel and the shifter. I guess the brake pedal has some issues. Uh, the shifter has issues. The wheel isn't super great. But everyone says that they also still like their setup just with a little bit of help from some modifications. Uh, and maybe that's something we can do on the channel too. If we start getting into the sim thing a little bit, we can go over modifying the G920 and just making it the best setup we possibly can for you know a budget sim setup. It's a pretty small box so far. So open this guy up. Right off the box, yep, that's that's the box, if you really care that much at looking at it. Uh, says things. We ain't doing that kind of unboxing, we ain't gonna show you, oh, look at the, the cardboard. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. I didn't get a Hydro or anything. From what I've read, you can't really use a Hydro with the G920 wheel combination. like. I guess you can do some aftermarket like Hydro stuff, but it's not really that great. I don't really care about doing that kind of stuff yet, but all right. So, so far here is the shifter. If you want to, we'll go up and close on all of this in a minute. I'm going to, we'll, we'll go up and close once I have it all set up. But as you can see, it's, this is a little guy. Um, yeah, everyone's complaining that the shifter feels like crappy, but so far, like it's not the worst thing I've felt. I mean, it kind of feels toyish, I guess. It is kind of like a short shifter. It's very close to what the RX-8 is actually, because I have the short shifter in my RX-8. Very similar. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, some screwy thingies to screw it to your base or your whatever you're mounting this to. Cool. I don't like how small the, the shifter is actually, the shift knob. I think I'm gonna try to change that out. I read that you can, so I'll probably change that out and get like an actual weighted shift knob that I would use in my car. Jeez. Yeah, way heavier than I expected. As far as packaging goes, it does look and feel pretty nice, not gonna lie. Uh, what I assume is the power supply. So here is the wheel. One thing I was kind of concerned about is like if the wheel size would be similar to a real part too. I know there's ways that you can swap out the wheel for like a custom wheel. And I might actually do that just so it feels that much more realistic, like at least realistic in size. So here is the wheel itself. Little plastic nubbin guy, take that off. So it does seem like the wheel is pretty small. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this. <laughs> a lot, this is tiny. This does not feel like a real wheel. Um, I am gonna do everything I can to swap this out for an actual 
<laughs> it's a properly sized wheel. Yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a huge letdown. I'm kind of pissed. Not gonna lie. Like it's it's tiny. <laughs> All right, sorry. We'll use it for now. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, it does seem like pretty nice quality. You have your cable routing on the bottom here. The like aluminum or whatever the base is for the wheel like actually seems really nice. It doesn't feel all that cheap. Yeah, clicky for your paddle shifters. Right, so set that down. I mean, the leather belt nice is what it is. It's 300 bucks. Really can't complain. All right, so. As for the pedals go, ironically, they look very uh, identical to my RX-8 pedals. Mazda pedals are kind of like this. Uh, the gas feels like a gas pedal. The clutch, the clutch kind of almost feels like a clutch pedal. I would kind of like to have it have a spot. If you drive a stick, you know when you feel where your clutch will grab and release. It doesn't really have that spot, that catching point. It'd be cool if I could simulate that. Um, hopefully we can simulate actual clutch in Car X to them. I'm sure we can, I'm just not sure if these pedals can do that. The brake pedal doesn't really feel like a brake pedal. I kind of get what people are saying. Um, test it with my feetsies here. They are pretty damn close to each other too. I would like for the brake pedal to be a little bit closer to my gas pedal, I think. Kind of for like heel toe style situations. Mazdas usually get their brake and gas pedals pretty close. Um, even on their just basic cars, like my wife's CX-5, they're still pretty close. So that's what I'm just accustomed to. The clutch being so close to the brake like that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up mashing both of them. My feet do feel pretty claustrophobic. Again, I can't really complain. This is a really cheap, basic setup. We haven't even tried it yet. This could be really fun. This could be awesome. It could help us. But so far, so far it is, uh, eh. So let's set it up and uh, let's give it a go. Okay, guys, that was a real pain. I did finally get it set up and everything. It was really finicky. I'm gonna add, go ahead and add that to another con. However, I have been playing with it for a minute. I need to dial in everything, uh, which is gonna just take time and some learning. But so far, it's pretty damn insane. It does actually feel pretty dang identical to being out of track, or you know, I'll put a little card here for you to click us going out and drifting. It's just as hard, if not harder. Um, I think that's gonna be a lot of tuning this thing and going through settings and all that. But I'll show you what I mean. So far, sixth gear isn't, or not sixth gear, uh, reverse isn't working on my shifter. That could be just what I need to do in the settings, or it could just be Car X itself. Um, but it's it's pretty insane. So let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm not great with this wheel thing yet, so. Just like at the track. The course feedback is pretty dang serious. I, I haven't tried any like just normal racing games yet, so I couldn't tell you there. Um, but as far as drifting, if you're gonna get this just to drift on Car X so far, it's pretty good. But so far, yeah, see reverse just isn't working. I have to actually use the paddles. Um, but everything in Car X is working so far. I did put the sensitivity up pretty high on the course feedback, just because I want the realist feel I can get. And it makes sense I'm not good at this because I'm not good in real life. So, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of tuning with my car. But this is awesome so far. Like it's pretty insane. I am spinning out a lot. This was pretty much the same issues I was having in my actual car. So the brake pedal I will say you do have to kind of really munch it down pretty hard to get any movement out of it, or actually any force out of it. So 
Again, could be a systems thing. I don't know. But this is just insane. Hey, there we go. See, it's that camera seared. You don't get that same momentum feeling like in a car. But so far, just trying to do. There we go, a little bit of something. Man, this is insane. It's the same thing as at the event. This is crazy. This is pretty cool. Um, I will go ahead and so far up the say it was worth my 300 bucks I spent. Especially if I can get good with it and it feels more and more similar like my actual car. I would say this is a win-win for a beginner setup just to practice at home if you can't get off to the track. There is no help for me. Also, my car, my RX-8 Car X right now is pretty beefy uh, with mild angle kits. I might have to change my actual car up a little bit. Uh, so the little knobby just clicked out there. I really wish I could figure out what's up with reverse. Stalled the car out. I don't have a handbrake, so I can't launch it around the corner. But there we go. Every time. <laughs> Just, I'm not going to be able to do it. It was very finicky, I'll say that, to set it up. Spent probably an hour just to get it set up. The power cable likes to fall out, um, so keep that in mind when you're routing your cables. It does need to be perfect. Damn, I, I think I'm going to have to tune this car and tune my settings, because I'm just a mess everywhere. I need to be in like fourth for this because this is a lot of power. I might, I might even have to put my gloves on. Ooh, that reverse entry though. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a lot of fine tuning. But for now, I'm gonna end it there. I don't know why it does that. I'll update, I'll go ahead and try and mess with these settings and all that, and then maybe we can do another video on it after I get some practice. But I would say I would rate it like a six for the price. I mean, things don't work. This doesn't lock down like it should. It just, yeah, it just won't. I can't get it to stay. But I mean, it holds it secure. It's pretty nice. I do want to upgrade it and get a bigger wheel on here, things like that. And for the price point, pretty damn cool. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions or whatnot, let me know in the comments, or if you have like recommendations for this thing, I'd love to hear it all. Thanks, guys.